It shows I'm influenced by the kingdom. Oh, hallelujah. My influence is the kingdom, not the world, not my circumstance, not the situation that's going on in my life right now. That's not my influence. That must not be my influence. Hallelujah, God. I must not put so much importance on people that they become my influence. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Worship means you are so focused on him, no one else matters. Glory to God. You know, in the midst of my teaching, if I was to stop right now and call attention to uh, Minister Francine, everybody would sit just like you just did. You all stopped now and you looked, right? You see what I'm saying? Glory to God. Don't you see how influence can cut off worship? That's right. Why are you focused on somebody? Go ahead. When you need to be focused on your worship to your God. You do take people and make them the object of importance. And some people, that's what they want. They'll make a scene so they can be the object of importance. Go ahead. And see, those who don't understand kingdom, join right in. But a real worshiper, they are so focused. They are so in tune with God. For one thing, they've been through so much with him. <laughs> Ooh, glory to God. So they don't get to the point they don't know how to do without him. Glory to God. So when stuff go down, the only thing they know to do is, Lord, I worship you. I don't understand what's taking place right now, but I worship you. There are some trying to get my attention, but I'm going to worship you. I, I'm, I'm not even going to answer the phone because it's trying to take my attention. I'm going to worship you. Glory to God. And that this situation looks like it's never going to change, but I refuse to empower it with my words. I'm going to worship. Oh, my God. Influence. Somebody say influence. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Where is your influence coming from? The world's influence is stronger than ever because there's a spirit of delusion in the yes. world. Yes. And it's getting to the point now you need to understand whoever controls the airways can control the atmosphere. Yes. Oh my God, if it can control the airways, that means it can cause the atmosphere to be whatever it wants you to be. Yes. Lord have mercy. But a worshiper? Come on. Oh, great. Come on. I don't care what the atmosphere is right. and how many got it going that way. It don't take but one worship to walk in the midst of that thing and just go to worship and Lord, you're just holy. You're holy, 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 holy. Lord, I worship you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Clears the air. Clears out the air. Then folk who are acting up all of a sudden they ain't got nothing to say. Not a word. Oh, I done been there, done. I know it. Glory to God. You don't have to explain when you already have an experience. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody say influence. Glory to God. Yes, yes. Thank you, Jesus. So because he taught in parables. Parable is a parallel truth, just so you know that. A parable is a parallel truth. It's what I've been teaching you for years. What happens in the natural is your looking glass into the spiritual. So that is just to keep it simple. So whenever he was trying to he was trying to show them, here's a natural example that I know you understand. Okay? And he used a lot of agricultural examples because that's what they were. They were farmers. Okay, they were fishing. Okay, so these natural examples they could understand, they could relate to, because that way he could begin to literally shift them 
into the kingdom influence. All right? So a 